Hey Fanatics, Dave here with another video tutorial for LightroomFanatic.com. I talked in a previous tutorial about adjustment brush pins that allow you to select an adjustment that you've already applied to an image and make a change to that adjustment. Another thing you can do with those adjustment brush pins is to see what part of the image they actually apply to. So again, to see the localized changes that you've made to an image using the adjustment brush tool, select the adjustment brush by either clicking on the icon for it or hitting the letter K and you can see all of these pins represent changes that I've made to the image using the adjustment brush tool. If you hover your mouse over one of these pins, you can see that the mask overlay shows up to show you what part of the image is affected by the adjustment that I'm hovering over. So as I hover over each of these, you can see they affect different parts of the image. Now that's great, but if I wanted to fill in an area where the adjustment brush maybe hasn't completely hit, and if the adjustment itself is something that's kind of hard to see, for example, if I wanted to darken the sky a little bit around that rock, as soon as I move my mouse off of the pin, the mask goes away. And even if I select the pin to edit it and I want to paint around that rock, the mask again goes away as soon as I move my mouse off of the pin. So one of the options that you have is to turn on the mask overlay for the pin. Now to do that you can either hit the letter O, which you can see turns it on, or you can go under Tools, adjustment brush overlay and either hide or show the overlay. And in this case it's already visible so the option would be to hide it. You can see while we're in this menu you have the option of changing the color of the mask itself. You can also do that by holding down shift and hitting the letter O. And you can see I'm toggling through green, white, black, and red. Changing the colors is helpful when the mask is the same color as an object that you're trying to mask around. For example, if you had a red chair, the red mask might not be the best option because you might not be able to tell where the mask bleeds into the color of the chair. So in that case, switch it to something like green so you can get a better idea of where the adjustment is being applied. You can also adjust whether or not the overlay is visible by looking at your toolbar Again, hit the letter T to show the toolbar, and you can check whether or not the mask will show up for the selected adjustment. So again, if I switch to another adjustment here, the mask shows up for where that adjustment is being applied. So going back to this first one, if I wanted to fill in a little bit more around the rock, I could do that. And that is how you show the selected mask overlay in Lightroom. For more, or if you have any questions, head over to lightroomfanatic.com.